Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfag here and welcome back to another Battlefield 4 video. Today we have a weapon review of the SV-98. It already has been featured in Battlefield 3 as well as in Bad Community 2. And today I'm going to tell you guys how to get it and I will also go over some stats. But yeah, I would say let's get it started. So you can unlock the SV-98 by um, bumping up your sniper score. And you will get sniper score by playing with sniper rifles, bolt actions that is. Um, you will have to get 13,000, so 13k points in order to unlock the SV-98 and I think it's also the second one you unlock. Now to the stats. It has a rate of fire of 50 rounds per minute, this means it has a rechamber time of 1.25 seconds. The bullet drop is actually quite high with um, 15 meters per second, so um, as soon as it's traveled, the bullet traveled one second it will drop 15 meters. Um, the muscle velocity is basically the same as in Battlefield 3, we got uh, 520 meters per second, which means after 2600 meters the bullet will disappear. The damage model um, got changed slightly, so now we'll have a maximum damage of 100 and a minimum damage of 59. You will get a one hit kill everywhere, so also to the, I don't know, the hand or something, within 12.5 meters. After that you will have to get two shots or a headshot. It has a 11 round magazine, the empty reload is 2.9 seconds, the full reload is 4.7 seconds and the threshold is 0.8 seconds. Besides that it has a moderate recoil just like all the other bolt action rifles, not really noticeable. And sadly they removed the awesome hip spread we had in Battlefield 3. So the, the SV-98 now feels a little bit more like the SV-98 from Bad Company 2 again. However, um, it still has one of the better hip spreads together with the Scout Elite. As you can see on the right hand side, um, standing up 4 and crouch 3 and prone 2.5. Approximately the same while um, we're running. And you can see that even while ADS'd, lots of people don't notice, but if you're moving while being ADS'd, you're still not getting the 100% accuracy. So you're got, you will get a hip spread of 1.5 as you can see right there. So, so much about the stats. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about the feeling of the SV-98. So, even though the SV-98 is not the greatest when it comes to stats, um, as you can see right here, uh, I mean, it's moderate, it's pretty good, it's medium, um, not too bad, not too good here, but um, still pretty usable. However, um, even though the stats are not the best, and I've played with um, basically almost all the other sniper rifles, which are actually having better stats than the SV-98, I still feel that the SV-98 is better in terms of how it feels, how it performs. And um, even though it's completely, uh, it, it makes completely no sense, um, I, it seems like I'm doing better with it. Um, I don't know if that's just because it was already in Battlefield 3, like with the same rechamber motion and everything, so I'm kind of used to how it handles. But I also like the scope a lot, so all the other scopes, like the 8x, the 6x, they're all kind of blurry and smoky, you can't really look through them very good. And the 7x of the SV-98 is, is really good, the, the, the chevron scope, it's, it's really clear and, and simple, so I'm liking that a lot. Also, even though um, the bullet drop seems to be kind of high, I've n I haven't had too many problems going for the headshots and everything. So um, the SV-98 is definitely one of the rifles I would um, suggest you guys to try it out. Because, as I've said before, um, I, I really can't put my finger on it as to what it is, because as you can see the stats, there's not much to it. But for some reason I'm doing better with it and I'm thinking the, the scope is one of the main reasons. Also, um, I'm running it with a straight pull bolt right here, so you should definitely try that as well. I know there's a sniper glitch right now, um, which makes um, some weapons go crazy if they had, um, equip the straight pull bolt and they will just get the, the random hip spread and random bullet deviation and the bullet will fly everywhere, but just not where you're aiming at. Which is kind of sad, I hope guys will fix this soon. But yeah, um, please let me know what you would like to see in the next video. Would you like to see another um, weapon review? Would you like to see another weapon comparison? Also, please let me know how you like this video, would you like them to be a little bit longer or just any suggestions would be really appreciated. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video and let's go figure out.